Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Everything you do does help the channel. And uh, especially hit the bell if you want to be part of the live streams where I give away stickers on Fridays. And also Patreon if you want to get yourself a mug or a sticker or a tote bag or anything. You want to just help out the channel in any way, there's a link in the description. Also, I just want to mention before this video starts that you do not have to use cotton bacon for this. Regular cotton balls works just fine. Uh, it, it'll work just the same. You just got to stretch it out and do it the same way you're going to see in this video. I use cotton bacon because it's more absorbent and it holds more fluid, but you don't have to use that if it's not available. You can use regular cotton. All right, everybody. How you doing? I got a great video for you guys today. Uh, this has been highly requested in my live streams. A lot of people are anticipating and waiting for this video. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys firsthand how I do this. Uh, I've been testing this for a while now. I'm getting great results. Uh, I think this is probably the best way to pack your Zippo. Uh, so I took the liberty of already pre-bending the wick so you guys know how it's going to look like inside the Zippo. So just get a good idea of this. It's a little more than an S, obviously. Uh, you could pre-bend it like this. Just make it fit around the insert perfectly like this because you got to remember you got to leave room for the uh, flint hole that's going to be here. So that's going to just be moved over slightly to this side of the Zippo because there's a tube running down it right there. Not a big deal. So... What you're going to want to do first is uh, you're going to want to stuff your cotton or leave your cotton there, whatever you did, I don't know. And you're probably going to want to use a better cotton than rayon or regular cotton balls. Uh, you're going to want to, I use this cotton bacon only because it was available at my vape shop, uh, my local vape shop. I went to the store, they had that, I bought it, works great. I'm not saying it's the best uh, vape cotton to use in here, but there's better and everything like that. You don't have to buy specifically this one. You can get any kind you want. They're all good. They're all meant to do the same thing. It's wicking cotton. It comes in long strips, which is perfect for this project because of what I'm gonna show you here. Now, I've been testing this for a while and I'm telling you guys, this helps with the fluid. This keeps your this keeps your wick the most saturated I've ever had it. Uh, this, is, this is the best way to pack it. So I'm just gonna start off. I'm gonna put the wick in first. Uh, Pre-bent the way I have it. Uh, it's just going to be a little a little tricky to do. Okay, so now you pull your wick through. Put it to right where you want it, the length you want it. I like to keep mine just a little under the chimney. I like to have a big flame and I like to keep it going. And then so you will look in the Zippo now. You will see that it's in there, right? And it's in that shape still. I never moved the shape. The shape's still the same. It comes right to the bottom. You'll push it in a little bit. So now for the first thing, what you're going to do, is you take your knife and you push the wick to one side, right? Okay, and you could leave the knife in or you could take it out for this step, it doesn't really matter. So then you stuff the cotton in on one side. Now you don't wanna stuff this whole piece in there, you just wanna push it, you just wanna push it to the bottom so there's still some sticking out. You'll see here how I do it. You just want to make sure the whole bottom's covered. Okay, see, and the wick didn't get shoved down. The cotton slid. The cotton slid and the wick didn't get stuffed down there, okay? So now there's cotton going all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom of the insert. And I'll just double check. You just stuff a little in. Okay. All right, and the wick's still in perfect placement. Now, with that being said, right, you have it. You have cotton all the way down to the bottom. The wick didn't move. You put Now you put your knife in there and you flatten everything, right? You keep your knife there so you don't push the wick down because now you're going to stuff in the other piece of cotton on the other side. Having your wick completely surrounded in cotton on both sides is what's going to save you. Like that's what's going to keep the wick saturated. That's what's going to keep it always wet. That's what's going to keep the fluid always on it. You're not going to lose fluid. You're not going to get tight pieces burning, burning off. Uh, choking off I meant to say fluid because if you stuff in cotton balls too tight around the wick it cuts it off and it doesn't absorb okay so now we have cotton stuffed to the bottom of both sides the wick is still exactly where we want it see you can see the wick there you can see the copper wire it's still right there right at the bottom there's cotton coming down to both ends and it's going to get stuffed down there even farther now so now we have it coming out like this. Your wick is in the middle of two nice pieces of cotton. Your wick is not going to stay more saturated than this. This is the best it's going to stay. 
Uh, I love this technique. And then now, so you just stuff the rest in. And I do it open tweezers like this, like as you see. I'm doing it open tweezers like this, stuffing it in equally on both sides while I stuff it down to finish the deal here. And you'll see it just goes down perfect, right? You're not pushing too hard. There's not too much cotton in here. I didn't overstuff it or anything like that. You don't want to overpack it. Exactly how much cotton I used is all you'll need. And bam, look at that. And we put our flint in. And the felt fits on perfect because I use the exact right amount of cotton. It sits nice and flush. I put everything back in. Now, I filled the Zippo up. I already did this to the Zippo. I filled this up like three weeks ago. and It was still running by the time I filmed this video. I still haven't filled it yet. I don't know if it will. We'll see if it lights right now. All right, we're just gonna fill her up here and see how she works. We'll put a little splash in there, not much. Should be enough. This cotton bacon really, really soaks up the fluid. She is doing good. This is my Korean War Air Zippo, steel case Zippo, given to me by Dependable Flame. Go check them out. This is my favorite Zippo in my collection, my rarest one, my oldest one. I love this one. This is a great Zippo. But anyways, guys, so that's the best way to do it because you're going to have the wick in the middle with cotton on both sides all the way down the insert. Uh, there's honestly nothing better than that. Uh, I already did this in the Zippo. I just unpacked it and repacked it for the purpose of this film. Uh, I got like three weeks on, on my Zippo like that, but I was using the bag trick and I was using cotton bacon. So, uh, you might not be able to get three weeks on it without those things, but, uh, every little thing you do does help to save fluid and keeping the wick completely saturated like that and keeping it wet at all times. I feels the best because when you do it with cotton balls, you're putting it in spots and you're bending the wick around and then your wick's touching the case here and there's a uh, you know, big ball of cotton on this side and then your wick's touching it here and then there's a big ball of cotton on this side. Uh, th that's not very good. That's not good packing. Having your wick dead center with an uh, equal layer of cotton on each side of it, all around it, it, it just holds the fluid better. It keeps it all tucked in there better, uh, holds it better. This is the way everyone should be packing their Zippo. I hope this video gets big because people should be packing all their inserts like this. All right, everybody, take care. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, appreciate it. Check out Dependable Flame, Limp Wick. Those guys have uh, sent me a lot of cool things. They are friends of the channel. Uh, check them out.